I honestly never felt so intimidated in my life up until today when I have to do this YouTube video showing you a place in Malta that not many people are talking about. The beautiful village of Rendi. Guys, I wanted to do this video and I went out on my own. And now you might be wondering why I'm saying intimidating. This little village over here, it hosts less than 3000 people. And predominantly, if not 95% of them are Maltese. And this is the south part of Malta. The south part of Malta, local people are considered to be the ones who are very polite, very down to earth, very welcoming as well. But at the same time, anytime when they see like, not a tourist, but someone, for example, me with a camera and a mobile filming, they give kind of weird looks. But anyway, it's all good. Let's do this video. Let me take you around the beautiful village of Rendi. I'm gonna take you in the outskirts as well to show you some of the historical parts, some very fun areas and hidden gem over here on the island that many tourists are not visiting, but they should. Roll the intro and let's go. The main road over here, it's absolutely stunning. Over there we have a position Rendi and let's go inside the city. Okay, I found this, the game of Bochi. The game known as Bochi in Malta dates back to the time of the other the Knights of the St. John. Okay, and there's some local people playing. Let's see how that looks like. Just right off the bat, the very first thing that I'm noticing, it's extremely clean. Look at that. There is nothing on the roads. There is not even a single dirt. Uh-huh, I found. ta -da! <laughs> Okay, anyway, I'm going towards the center. You can see just a little bit of the church, but in a minute we're gonna be there. And of course, I always show you guys what you can find. In this village here, I see that they do have this local shop and also there is a hair salon as well. I was trying to Google to understand what this building stands for, but unfortunately when I Google the name over here, it doesn't show out anything. And I will try to investigate and find out what this building is so that I can put it over here on the screen. However, I'm taking this opportunity just to show you guys how stunning this architecture looks like. Also, I really like how they did the decor outside with these plants. Stunning. Just right next to it, there it is. The parish church in Rendi. Unfortunately, guys, when I'm doing this video, they're doing a restoration of the facade outside and we can't see the front, but I'll insert the photo to see how beautiful it looks. But you can still see it even from this side. Let me go at the back so that you can have a look how stunning she looks. This is the parish church of the Assumption of Mary. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's see what we're gonna see all around it. Aha, uh -huh. I see a little, a little bit of dirt. By the way, look how windy it is, guys. Today it's a very, very windy day. And even though it's super, super sunny, still we are experiencing cold wind coming from the north. There she is in her full glory from the backside. And as you can see, guys, they also have lights on it. So at night, this must look amazing. In this video, you're going to see more of the nature and the beauty of Rendi rather than the beauty of Alex in Malta. But I know that many people are interested to see Malta, how it looks like nowadays. And me as well. <laughs> I am quite intrigued. I want to go inside the little tiny streets over here and see how the architecture looks like. Hmm. While I'm walking around, guys, I want to say something very important. Oh, wow, look at that. They left their shoes outside. That's how much they trust one another and that's how much they feel so safe over here in this village. I wanted to say something very important. When I was buying my apartment here in Malta, I had several spots on which and where I would like to buy and purchase a property so that they can live. And one of those places was Rendi. Simple reason, safe area, beautiful countryside, far away from all the noise and everything. And at the same time, it's not so touristically visited. Predominantly what you're going to find is just local people <laughs> and Alex in Malta with his camera. <laughs> Look at that. The beauty of the Maltese doors, stunning. 
Here, guys, you can see how religious the Maltese people are. In many houses, I'm seeing something like this. And, yeah, as I was saying, look at that. Hold on. This deserves like 360. Okay, so we are with 0 0.5. And let me give you a 360 over here. Malta. The way I really like it. The typical Maltese architecture. Amazing. I'm still walking somewhere, guys, but I have no idea where I'm ending up because I just went out of the village from this side and now I think I'm entering more into the countryside. Yes, I can see some fields over here and a passageway telling me that Hajar Im, the temples are on that side. Okay, yep, as I said, I went down in the countryside and showing you the fields. And the sun is setting soon. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Wow. Imagine living in one of these houses. These are maybe like, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 year old houses, but they look amazing. And the sun is setting there. And just imagine the view inside and the feeling. By the way, it's very windy. I have the wind protector and I hope it's not interrupting the video. Opa, hold on. Okay, we have some new building over here being built at the moment or it might be ready. Hmm. Another one next to it, raising one more story. Nice. Beautiful. Okay, I'm back in the city. I'm gonna stroll around more of the tiny little streets over here in Rendi. And then I'm gonna take you guys outside in the countryside with the view of the Mediterranean Sea. Stay tuned for that. Whoa. Have a look at this abandoned building. Wow. Let me go close up to the doorknobs. Wow. And I found another one, but this one I noticed that it's on sale. And I'm wondering how much would it cost to buy one of these old townhouses over here? Hmm, is it less than a million or a million? The one next to it is on sale as well. And yeah, I think that one is on sale as well. The three of them. Whoever is going to buy them, I hope they will just restore them and keep the nature of it. Please don't do any kind of fancy buildings here. No. I mean a fancy building would not align over here with the neighborhood. I need answers. What happened over here? <laughs> Shall we go in? Let's go. Wait. Can someone translate this? Or I'll just put the translation over here. I'm wondering what this is. <laughs> Let's continue. Nothing. It's just a passageway. Let's go back. <laughs> Passing just right next to the crime scene. Let's take a moment and appreciate this beauty. Look at the buildings. Look at the streets. I'm in love. I am in love with this village. Amazing. Excellent. There is a pharmacy over here as well. And I found a stationery and also a confectionery and convenience shops as well. I didn't see many restaurants over here. I just saw some local bars, but I'm seeing that they do have quite a lot of shops. Oh my God. Look at these watermelons. They're huge. Wow. So this is telling me that yes, 95%, if not 100 of people are living in Rendi are Maltese. Cause everything that I've seen so far, it's in the local language only. Oh wow, they have a playing field area and it's full with trees. <gasps> this looks amazing. Something that it's lacking in many places around Malta. Nice. 
Okay, so I'm done in the village, which looks amazing. I really enjoyed it. I really, really like it. It was so clean. I noticed that not so many people around. They were just like those older gentlemen in their like 70s, that they were near the square, near the church, having their tea and just chilling and hanging out and nothing else. People coming back from work, parking their cars and going into their houses. That's it, nothing else. Okay. Guys, I'm running out of battery, 20%. And I really want to grab this beautiful sunset that I'm pretty sure it's going to be stunning on the video. So let me take you now next to the sea in one hidden gem. Okay, guys, so I parked my car in Hajar Im car parking and I'm going to show you on the screen over here a map to see that you have to walk from the car parking towards the Hamria Tower. And I'm just passing close by to Hajar Im and Imdria. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but these temples are forming part of this beautiful village Rendi. Now, let me show you how the passageway looks like. Okay, let's see. Where do I need to go? This way or this way? I just checked Google map and yep, I need to go this way. Okay, considering that I'm using my Rode microphone through my phone to do this video and it's like eating the battery like crazy, I'm gonna try to insert just a few of these clips over here until I get there guys because I want to grab quite a lot of this sunset. And before someone says, Alex, you could have removed the microphone and just do the video through your phone, guys, listen the wind. Nope. No, no, no. Only me. I can take a wrong turn and I follow Google Maps. No, I just got the notification 10% battery. Oh, but I'm on a mission. I'm gonna get to that tower and at least I'm gonna record for like five seconds. Let's see. Follow Google Maps and get lost like I did. Turn left. Mission accomplished. I found it. Okay, 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 okay. Guys, guys, it's worth it, it's worth it. Hold on, hold on, okay. So, there she is. This is the watchtower, Hamria Tower. But, oh my god, isn't that a tiny azure window, the one that collapsed in Gozo? <gasps> Look at that! Wow! I am genuinely impressed. Living in Malta for seven years and for the first time seeing this, Amazing, amazing, wow. My battery is on 3% guys, so I have to show you just a little bit like this. Look at the view, amazing. And that's Filfla Island over there. Look. And now lastly about the tower, quickly I'm gonna tell you something very important. This is one of the, I think, 13 towers, watchtowers here in Malta that people back in the days were using to give signals from one to another if they see any harm approaching Malta, like back in the war days. Oh my God. Okay, guys, this phone is about to die, so I'm going to wrap the video over here. I hope you enjoyed it and you got a nice feel from the beautiful village Rendi. I genuinely loved it and the locals were very friendly as well even though it was a bit scary at the very beginning i hope you enjoyed the nice scenery that i showed you over here from this hamria tower as well if you enjoyed the video make sure to like it down below and don't forget to smash the subscribe button for more videos like this more more videos like this <laughs> and until i see you in my next one bye